I'm Jordan Weber, Des Moines, Iowa-based artist and activist. Here we are sitting in the Malcolm X greenhouse in North Omaha that I have named 4MX for Malcolm X. We really wanted to choose a space um, that sat within a polarized environment um, that we see throughout the U.S. and North Omaha and North St. Louis and North Des Moines and North Minneapolis that people could um, gain access to because as we know in our communities we're polarized from food resources, we're polarized from green space, um, and we're, we're polarized from the act of collaboration together um, by being sprawled out in these large communities that we have in the Midwest. To continue this tradition of growing you know, your own food, growing your own medicines, and being on green space, it's extremely um, important to bridge what has happened to our land, um, what isn't there anymore, um, and what we've come from, um, our ancestors. And I don't care what your background is, our ancestors grew things in a biodiverse manner. And what we're seeing right now is the monocropping of a lot of species, and through that monocropping we're losing not only the biodiversity in plants and animals, but we're losing our traditions and where we came from as well. Like I said before, uh, Malcolm X's birth home was on this site, and it's extremely important for us to have green spaces um, in these sprawled out environments. So um, we know from study after study that green space affects the, the human psyche, and the more green space you have in your neighborhood or in your environment, um, the more centered you are, and it's actually proven to lower crime rates. We speak about healing, and it's really hard for me to think about healing when we are constantly wounded and traumatized. So one of the ways to counter that is a green space like this, um, to have safe space to, to be yourself and not be seen um, as a threat. My passion for this project really relies on what we've seen happen to our people. For me personally, post Ferguson, Michael Brown, experiencing that um, during phase two of the protests in Ferguson really warped in a very productive way my practice and has led me to making projects like this in communities that are so affected by police brutality and um, environmental racism. I don't know how else to breathe in space time you know, to fight uh, a common oppressor other than constructing these spaces that allow us to take care of ourselves away from a system that obviously is detrimental to the body and to land. I think what's new with the movement right now, especially in the Midwest, is the collaboration between indigenous communities and black communities. And that's something that I'm really trying to sink into with my practice through visual art and through public activations. So it seems like there's this great collaborative aspect and sense of urgency that feels new to me. Um, and, and like I said, I'm not claiming to be a first in this collaborative process, but it's, it's a really beautiful thing happening right now with black and indigenous activists. So this is a really exciting aspect of the project. Um, we have our Three Sisters Garden going in, and that's a collaboration with myself, the Malcolm X Memorial Foundation, and three um, sisters from the Ponca, Osage, and Omaha tribe that are gonna be spearheading this um, outdoor garden aspect. And we hope to get um, medicinal plants um, like uh, sweetgrass and sage growing here pretty soon as well. Um, and this is the aspect of the project that the Creative Capital is funding. So we're really excited to just get our hands in the soil together out uh, and around the greenhouse. Really center around the idea of empowerment. So whether that's empowerment of the mind, of the body, of the spirit. So we wanted to make sure meditation was a part of that, uh, primarily because Malcolm X's religion and faith was based in the Muslim tradition and prayer is very important, meditation is very important. We have a very simple and straightforward ask to sustain our indigenous collaborators financially for three years while we grow the Three Sisters Garden and establish a two-acre native prairie carbon sink in front of the greenhouse to mitigate pollutants and regenerate the soil here at the Malcolm X Memorial Foundation.